Hi Scorpio, it's Joe from Angels and Ancestors and my darlings. This is your What the Fuck reading, 18th to the 24th of January. Lovies, I hope everybody's okay. Please keep in mind that these are general readings. Um, they are not going to ring true for everybody. Take what you can, disregard the rest. Have a quick peek at your moon sign or your rising sign if this doesn't resonate with you and keep in mind that this could be something that's happening around you and not actually to you so my darlings we're saying that if you like what i do please subscribe to the channel would love you as part of the family um hit the bell beside it so you know when it's when stuff is going up and um yeah, hit the like button for me. That would be mightily helpful, Scorpio. So, my darlings, let's get on with your reading. You have got your current situation. We are now asking for facing your fears and taking your fucking power back. And that is huge. That is one hell of a story there, darlings. Um, your manifestation, your wish fulfillment and why it may be fucked. in that that's your movement and journey what you can do about the situation my lovelies what can Scorpio do I oh, it didn't fall out thank you and then what is out of your hands the reconnecting to your true self another bit of a story going on there And your outcome, lovelies. So, my darlings, what happened around you? What's your current situation? Okay, so you've got the five of wands. Now, this would indicate a collection of people coming together that can make magic or mischief. And I'm getting for you, Scorpio, there is a lot of people around you that have got fucking huge egos up to the wazoo. And you always feel like you've got to live up to their expectations. I'm kind of also getting that you are the common denominator between these people. They would not necessarily be friends independently of yourself. So if they're making magic, that is great. If they're making mischief, my advice to you is give them a wide berth. Because, darlings, right now, you are holding on to something. You are either saving for something, which is absolutely fine, um, or you are protecting something, maybe your emotions, maybe your home life. Um, if you are in that mode, kind of like be kind to yourself. And what the universe is asking you to do is use your intuition. That initial gut feeling will serve you well. It will. So I'm kind of getting... You really do need to make sure that you, at the moment that you're not connecting fully with these people unless they are making the magic. If they're making mischief, don't do that to yourself. But you are literally holding on to something for dear life is what I'm getting. Um, it could be career, it could be home life, it could be a combination of those. But they're saying use your intuition, get magical, get think outside the cauldron is what they're saying so if your normal recipe is not working for you for your career your home life start adding different things to the mix don't keep to the same recipe all the time start using your intuition start thinking for yourself what is going to make that better um do you need to move on do you need to just add some bits to it to make that flavor a little bit better but use your intuition now i'm also getting an essence that those five people could actually be work colleagues rather than friends um and i am getting a sense that they're driving you mad and that's very possibly why you've gone into this protective mode holding on to things because i'm kind of getting that 
you feel that this this is this is your baby this this is what you want to do and they're kind of like tugging on you um don't don't play to their tune don't don't kind of like buy into the mischief of what's going around if there's gossip going around don't buy into it don't listen to it don't even nod in the right places just make it clear that it is gossip and you really don't want to take part of it um if it's magic they're making making great but i'm not getting an essence of that they could do they could make a big difference but i am getting an essence that right now they are being quite mischievous but their ego i can't tell you how big the egos are around these people male or female so Dons, you've got a bit of a journey to do when facing your fears and taking your fucking power back you are so pissed off right now um now i don't know if that's you sitting at the table looking at those chalices going and when's mine gonna turn up or whether that's you at the doorway saying come on turn around and look at me i'm here i'm here either way you're fed up you are fed up and the next card is asking you to be kinder to yourself when you're kinder to yourself you're kinder to your fellow man this is the charity card with the six of pentacles this is telling you to give and receive with dignity and grace and that will bring in the blessings of a new beginning with the ace of wands this is about projects this is about plans this is about your passions and desires um, and this is helping you draw down energy from the sun to ripen off those cherries that are going to be ultra sweet when you start tapping into your power facing your fears and taking your power back they're saying once you get to this point you will receive that blessing of a new beginning coming in you may need to take some time out to think things through that's absolutely fine but the cards are indicating that you are going to be walking straight ahead to a brand new open doorway with the three of a thames. It may take a leap of faith from you to actually achieve that or walk blindly into something. But you will get a completion of burdens and be able to put all of those burdens down because not all of them belong to you. But you will be able to get to that beautiful light at the top of the hill. And then right at the back of the deck, you've got the Queen of Athames. Now, this is going to be an air sign, which is Aquarius, Gemini or Libra. Darlings, this is either part of you that you're beginning to realise that you need to cut away things that no longer serve you to allow some regrowth, to allow new growth, to allow things to happen as they should be happening it could be that there is somebody around you with that kind of intelligence and intuition where they don't take prisoners where they cut things away because they know that it doesn't serve them um and they could be giving you that life's lesson but whatever it whichever way it is you have got new growth coming so bit fed up be kind to yourself expect a new beginning around your passion, around your projects, around your plans. You may have to take time out to think about things, but you will be walking towards an open door. It may take a leap of faith from you to be able to action that, but then you will feel yourself putting burdens down. Things will get lighter. You will get to the light at the top of that hill, and then you will see that cutting things out will allow regrowth and you will feel completely differently if you do this Scorpio and that my loves is your journey of facing your fears and taking your power back well that was a bit of an epic one wasn't it so your wish fulfillment your manifestation white may be fucked guys you got the Lord of Shadows in order to make a manifestation to work to make a wish fulfillment work you need to step out of the shadows and into the light and be honest with yourself and the universe about what it is you want and how it would make you feel if you got it if you don't do those things and you hide away the universe is just going to repay you with hiding away 
and then you have the high priest has got his hand outstretched and he's asking you to come forth and feel safe and protected and look at tradition look at recipe books look at what has worked in the past um keeping in mind this is manifestation this isn't happening yet and then if you step out of the shadows and you step towards the high priest and accept that protection that beautiful yes in the sky that sunshine that warmth then you will head towards that sun as the knight of wands knowing what it is that you want what your destination is but understanding that you need to enjoy your journey as well and i'm getting that your manifestation is that you do want to step out of the shadows you do want to step into the light you do want some recognition about what you do and what it is that you're asking for you want to make that wish in that well absolutely but you need to feel protected you need to feel loved and that's what the high priest is offering you um he's also offering uh, magic but of a different kind it's traditional magic unlike the high priestess which you've also got in the same reading at the beginning where they're asking you to use intuition as you move around to your manifestation they're saying look at tradition because that will get you ahead that will get you on your pathway on your journey towards your son towards your yes so your movement your journey where the fuck you need to be you have got the earth mother now she is this creature that offers us all love and abundance, nurturing, guidance. She does. And we just fucking abuse her at the end of the day. She brings in fertility. So there may be a pregnancy around you. Um, there may be a birth around you. There may be little ones around you. Um, fertility isn't just about the human pregnancy or the human condition. It can be kittens, puppies crops it can be all sorts of different things she's got the cornucopia for abundance and what she's saying is is everything that you are putting out there is coming back to you in abundance do not ignore the journey that you're on the movement that you're on because that is where you you really do need to be here you do need to understand that you are loved and comforted at all times it may not feel like that on the earth plane but the universe and those ancestors that have passed on before you are really trying to work hard, Scorpio, in getting you to understand that sometimes uh, we have to step out of the physical journey into the spiritual journey to actually understand that the two walk hand in hand. And that's what she's trying to say to you, is understand her purpose of being, of bringing everything towards you, stability, growth, nurturing, all of that stuff and i'm kind of getting that you have ignored yours you've ignored your nurturing you've ignored your um, spirituality even to a certain degree and she's now asking you on your movement your journey to tap back into mother earth and understand that the growth that she offers is for everybody it's not for a select few it's for everyone you just need to ask for it lovelies so what you can do about this situation is look ahead. You've had a good think about things. You've now lined up your athames in the back of that boat. And then you are looking out over that beautiful calm water to your future. You're not quite there to go there yet, but you are getting there. You are moving in to calmer waters. And that's what you need to understand, that the calm waters are just ahead and you will be moving beautifully towards that in due course and what they're saying to you is look ahead just look ahead look beyond what it is that you're seeing at the moment so what's out of your hands done you've got the ace of a theme is now this card asks you to draw down energy from the universe use the moon for um to highlight or to uh shine a light on things that you need to deal with, on truths, untruths, pathways forwards, and what they're asking you is to use your knowledge and your wisdom in order to um, sort these things out for yourself. But the, what the universe is saying to you, although they're giving you the energy, um, 
they're asking you to have faith as well that as much as you are working this side with your knowledge and wisdom allowing the moon to illuminate all this stuff for you and um, that they're working just as hard on the other side if not harder if not harder because they know that you've got so much to deal with that if you draw down the energy you need to deal with this and not be dealing with anything new so they're holding it off just for a while and they're working very hard on that for you my lovelies so reconnecting to the true you when i saw this ace of chalices i got that you're renewing it for you there is no other chalice in this picture you are looking at an empty chalice you are looking at where the fuck do i start with this you are looking at okay what do i need to put in this to make myself feel better um, knowledge, wisdom, happiness, joy, love, stability, abundance, all of that stuff can go into this chalice. And once it's filled up and it's overspilling, that's when you're ready to start either giving out or receiving in the love, the companionship, the knowledge, the wisdom, anything around your feelings that you want to pull into you. Because, darlings, you have planted many seeds over many years and now your harvest is about to come in, reconnecting to your true self. But you do need to give yourself that chalice in order to water that harvest to come in. And right behind that harvest, you've got the Sith. Now, she's highly magical. She's highly spiritual. She draws energy down from the moon and the goddess she's got the faith folk working on her side her kitchen is well equipped they are saying to you once you understand about the chalice the magic is coming in you will start seeing little bits of your harvest and the magic is coming in towards you and darlings they're asking you to remember to have a celebration of your harvest you do not have to rely on another person for this it's nice to it's nice to be able to celebrate with somebody else but it's not a necessity you have the four of wands this again is harvests coming in and usually it's celebration around a party an engagement a marriage an anniversary i am getting for you that you don't necessarily need other people to do this partying um to do the celebrations i think you're quite capable of celebrating what it is that you want to celebrate on your own because I'm getting that you're highly magical um, throughout this reading you've got the high priest you've got the high priestess you have got who else have you got you've got mother earth you've got the harvest you've got the sith um, darling, you're highly magical um, whether you use that terminology or not um, and you'd rather use highly spiritual absolutely fine but I'm getting that you could, without a shadow of a doubt, without batting an eyelid, do this for yourself and have the celebrations for yourself. Um, however you choose to do the celebrating. But I'm getting that you haven't got to rely on others to do the celebrating. There probably is others around, but you haven't got to rely on them for that let me just take a drink darlings um so your outcome you may well feel that after all of this you're fucking knackered and i'm not surprised because there's a lot going on around you massive lot going on around you nine of the fame is this is you taking time out got your blankie and I'm actually getting that you're the incredible sulk at the moment. I'm not getting that this is despair or depression. I'm just getting that you're like, leave me alone. I don't want to. I just don't want to. And the moon's going, come on. Come and have a look. Where have we got the moon here? Come and have a look. I'm illuminating it for you. And you're like, no, I don't want to. I just don't want to. But with the nine of the thame is done, this is the opportunity for you to have a massive clear out, to get rid of that old data, that old shit, 
the stuff that no longer serves you. So yeah, by all means, have a good night's rest, have a good sleep, but don't deny the moon that illumination because it is working on your side 100%. And look at this, as if by magic. Here we Now the Holy King is this creature he goes on search for knowledge, wisdom and spirituality. He stops off at that little cottage for a hot chocolate and then he's on his merry way and he illuminates the way with his lantern. Um, he illuminates the world with his lantern. He is also described as Father Time. And when he shows up in readings, very often he is telling you that the time is now that you need to be proactive in doing what it is that you need to do, uh, no matter what it is, but particularly spiritually. He wants you to understand that the timing is right, that if you want to take this time out and regroup, regroup yourself spiritually in order to tackle the other stuff, now is the time to do that. Oh, I nearly forgot the Whispering Woods. So the Whispering Woods is a lovely little deck that I've introduced to give you a thought for the week I haven't looked through this deck I don't know what's in it and I keep getting surprised so um, yeah if I get a bit excited about what's written on the cards please forgive me oh wow you've got time embrace the dew drops of life before they disappear with the morning sun Wow. Couldn't have said it better if I had said it through the Holly King. Now is the time. Okay, darling. So, angels and ancestors, knowledge, wisdom and guidance for the week. You have winter. Take care of your needs. You have trader. Exchange energy to create abundance. Abundance. Peacekeeper. Let go of the need to be right. Traveller. Move in a new direction. And show me master. Be graceful in movement and action. Lovelies. Darlings, that is your reading for the 18th to 24th of January. Wherever you are in the world, please be safe. Please be happy and healthy and I will catch you in the next reading. Bye for now.